Hi, I'm gonna be changing my hair for the first time in 10 years. So my hair is very long and I've kind of hit my limit with it this summer. I mean, Singapore doesn't have summers, but this few months has been incredibly hot and I've really hit my limit. And it feels like my hair is always damp either from like washing it or being sweaty. And maybe that is contributing to my persistent sinus issues that I've had like for a couple of months so I'm gonna cut it all off to like um, about there and I mean my hair is still in really good condition so um, the objective here is to try and donate it I wasn't really able to find charities that would accept that are currently accepting hair in Singapore so uh, we'll see I'm just gonna cut it off and then keep it, I guess. So I watched like two YouTube videos on this. So I'm basically an expert in cutting hair now. Uh, I think you're supposed to do like four ponytails. Two in the front, two in the back. So I'm gonna try and do that. I'm gonna be conservative with the first cut. So I'll do that around here and then uh, I think evening it out will bring the length up to here and then I am expecting my hair to get wavier and spring up so I'm hoping it will end up here. I'll be right back, I'll ask my mom for help. <laughs> That's one, and it's not even. Too late! <laughs> this is a totally different length. Which is why. Yeah, I wear it look at one. Yeah. It's okay. I'll fix it. Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now I'm going to wet and then dry this. Uh, Let's see how much it curls. And I'll put it in the air. Okay, so I've kind of wet and then dried my hair. It's not fully dry, but you can see that there's some uh, shrinkage happening. Uh, not enough though. Like, I want it to go shorter. This looks a bit auntie. <laughs> and like, if I do this, it looks exactly the same as it used to. So, we're going to go shorter. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yeah, yes. Yes, those are sewing scissors. Don't yell at me. Ooh, yes. I'm not very confident of doing the back actually. I think I'm gonna call my mom again. <laughs> Hi, I have taken a shower and changed into a different black t shirt, and this is the final hair. And this is almost exactly what I imagined in my head. And I was so terrified that it wouldn't look good on me or that I would screw it up somehow. I mean, I did a little bit, but it's not very visible, is it? And it looks so good and it's so light. And my hair actually has volume in it instead of just being stuck flat to my head. I just love it so much.
and it's so fun. Okay, I'm just gonna document like the mistakes that were made so that uh, future me doesn't make them again. So one thing is that this bit here in the back is way shorter than the front piece of hair because this piece of hair was pulled tight and then this one was left to be cut in its natural state and I don't wanna eat, cut everything shorter to even it out because that's way shorter than I want it to be. I will just wait for it to grow out and then like trim them. Another issue is like the because I have a part that goes this way, this piece of hair is supposed I want it parted this way, but I, I left it over on this side when I did the initial cut. So now it like when I'm parting it the way that it needs to be, there there's like a way shorter piece up here. Which looks kind of dumb. So you know, we'll fix that. But you know, overall it suits me way better than I thought it would and I'm really happy that I did it. So I have just entered my short hair era and I'm loving it so far. I really need to learn how to do my short hair now because I cannot braid it anymore and I can pull it into a very tiny ponytail but it kind of hurts when it's too tight because I am very sensitive. So yeah. This will be fun to learn and I'm going to need to pack up all of my hair ribbons and hair sticks for later and I have to go and purchase scrunchies and clips and things. We'll see. We'll see. The possibilities are endless. Oh yeah, let me do a quick 360. So that's the front. This is the right side. This is the left side. That's the back. See you next time! Okay, the audio was atrocious on this clip, so I'm just gonna voice it over again. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that it was the next day and I kind of wet and dried it a couple of times and I realized that I was drying very triangle shaped and it was very bulky at the ends because like my hair in the back is quite quite thick and fluffy so um, what I ended up doing was uh, trying to thin out the ends a little bit with a pair of scissors and this thinning out seems to have like blended together a little bit the uh, glaring length difference on the left side between like the front and the back and I added some oil and gel and serum and I wet washed my hair out and I was gonna insert an update here. So it's actually been exactly a week later, this update. I talked up a big game about like scrunching in gel and oil and serum and whatever. But honestly, I like my hair better now with just water and like a little bit of coconut oil in it. The best part about this hairstyle is that if I want to like refresh my hair, I can just head back a couple of times and I have fresh fluffy hair now.